Welcome back everybody to another video. We're here, 97 Saturn SW2 wagon, and we're gonna put new struts all the way around. I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step, save you a bunch of money, do it yourself, and uh, hit like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Help me out with this garbage algorithm, and let's get into it. Part number for the front strut assembly is FCS1332344. The part number for the rear strut assembly is FCS1332345. Step one, pop your hood and lift the thing off the ground. Get a 19 millimeter, undo the hubcap, and then use the same 19 millimeter to remove the lug nuts and take the wheel off, put it on the ground. We're at the front, there's a transmission. Here's the strut assembly where we are replacing. As you can see, this one's been leaking for a long time, has a bunch of oil and nastiness on it. So we have to remove these two bolts here. And then there's three up here on the top. Grab an 18 millimeter box wrench, 21 millimeter socket. To get the nut off here, you're going to take the nuts off first knock one of these out leave one of them in for now use a 13 millimeter to remove the nuts on top here and then you'll have one nut to take one bolt to take out down here so just have a second person here to sort of keep this pushed in a little bit so that the axle doesn't pop out of the cup down here because that's happened or up there see how it moves so you want to keep the axle inside of the cups at the same time pulling this guy out, at the same time pulling these 13s out. Here's a new one versus the old one. It comes with new nuts on top, but they're much smaller than the factory ones. So I'm reusing the factory ones, and I'll show you here. See? So this has more surface area to touch, so I'm going to use the stock ones. Obviously, if you don't have any, you can use these, but... I would use the factory ones if you have them. You're going to grab the new one. You're going to slide it in on an angle like this. Get it in. Line up the studs up top. And then you're going to start the factory nuts. Tighten these guys down. And then we're going to go below and mess with everything else. You're gonna grab the bolt, you're gonna line it up, and you're gonna push it in through from the front, like so. You might have to wiggle this. Put the washers, washer, nut, nut. And then when you're tightening these, I would suggest pushing here. See how this whole thing moves? Push it, and then tighten it down. I tighten these guys down to uh, 75 foot-pounds and now we're ready to put the tire on, lug nuts, hubcap, the whole deal, set it on the ground. Once you set it on the ground, go ahead and try to torque these guys to uh, 25 foot-pounds and then the fronts are done. So let's head to the back. We're here on the back. The back's a little different. Same size bolts, so you're going to 18 millimeter bolt. 21 millimeter nut with a washer. Two of those, you're gonna take those off. But to get to the top, we have to go inside the car and get underneath some trim in order to get to those three uh, nuts on the top. These areas here is where the strut is. So you grab a panel popper, you can go in here, and then this whole section will pop out. This foam is jammed in there. So now you can see the three nuts there, there, there. So when you take this out, make sure you put it back. But let's go ahead and take a 13 millimeter and remove these. On the strut here, you have this part here with the blue big bolts. And then the flat spot goes towards the inside of the car like that. So you're going to have one person feed this up in here. Get the studs through the holes. And then the other person will put the 
nuts on by hand. Leave the top nuts loose enough to where you can wiggle around the bottom to get it lined up on the spindle. Then put the bolts in from the back to the front. Use a 13 millimeter, tighten up all three of these nuts. Should be like 30 foot pounds. Then put this back in like so. You just sort of jam it in there underneath. And ta-da! Oh. Once it's jammed in like that, you can grab this cover back slide this back over, put it back in place, give it a couple karate chops, and now it's on. This bolt right here goes from the back towards the front, then you put on the sway bar bracket, then a washer, then the nut. This is an 18 and a 21. Go ahead and torque these guys down. At the same time, you're just giving it a little push this way. Now that's all torqued down, you're pretty much done. We're gonna put the tires on, Set it on the ground, torque the tires to 100 foot-pounds, put the hubcaps back on. Then we're going to go for a test drive. Hopefully this saved you some money. Like I said, comment, like, share, help me out with this algorithm crap. Till next time, wrench on.